Yeah, you're doing it. I, I know, I'm sending you ready. Okay, you're okay. pumped. <laughs> hey, the guys, you're here with Double Cross Gaming to watch a stream between Blood Eagle, between over 9,000 and Flatliners on Tribes Ascend. Uh, Flatliners are quite an old Tribes team, apparently. Been around for quite a while. Uh, over 9,000 are a brand new team coming over from Red Orchestra 2, I believe. So a bit of a, a change in pace there. And we're about to go live on the first map. So the first map is Bella Omega. Brutal. Probably my least favourite map in this game at the moment. Yeah, it can be quite cluster heavy on defence. Also, one of the more unique things about it is the gens are quite important on this one. It's one of the only maps where gens too tend to get repaired quite quickly. Okay, do you want to read the teams up? Sure thing. On Blood Eagle we have Shrek, Yankee, Svenna, Cabal, Seo, O'Shannon, Knave. Are they playing 7v7 again? No, they're playing 8v8. They have a uh, in that case, they're missing their 8th player. And on Diamond Sword, we've got Gene Stealer, Mobius, Ale, Vice Lord, Bio, Adria, Seller, and Rainy. Okay, so straight away we see Flatliners are running quite a heavy D. Both teams are running quite a heavy D, actually, here. We've got Rainy setting up for a very long cap, by the looks of it. Pathfinder coming in for a right to left. We've got 200 now. As to be expected, both teams here are running Technician, that's so they can keep the force fields and those turrets up. Rainy's coming in, but there's no disruption on the flag here. Don't think this is going to work out. Oh, no, we managed to get through. Very low on health, 045 coming out. Seller might down. go to grab that from the field, though. Don't think he's going to go for it. There's quite the deer pushing out to push that back. Ale's on the flags down, though. Might be able to get a quick grab there, but I don't see that going anywhere. No, not much here it. happening on the uh, Diamond Sword flag. No, we've got Svenna coming in on, way on their way now. It's completely under uh, the flag stand, though. Exactly. There's a return on the Blood Eagle flag. Got Bio setting up for disruption. Rainy coming in again from that same route. A little bit slower this time, but still. Oh, still I've just in. got news. Um, Shikali is their eighth player. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> this could Shikali. get interesting. And in comes Rainy now, coming into the flag stand, disrupted by Bio, and, and he manages to get out with 200 health. 280 speed though, nice fast grab. Yeah, quite a nice grab indeed. Just for those that don't know, Shikali is the lead capper for Team 99 Flake. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Anyway, Rainy has made it home. Not too much action got on the flag stand, although Cabal and Shikali are both moving in now. Shikali going for the e-grab. Makes it out clean with uh, another 517 health. Very, Very nice grab, grab there. there. He's gonna get sniped. Sniped by Mobius, the, the flag is now in the field. Both Adrua flags in the field, guys. Uh, no, Adrua has that flag on the flag stand, waiting for that return. Pass it off to Gene Stealer. As I see, the gens are still up for one team. They're only up for Flatliners. That was a cap there, by the way, by Diamond Sword. Very nice, one nil up to Flatliners. You got Ale coming in again with Seller. Rainy staying up for a different route this time, coming from the left to right. Gonna meet Chuck. Chuck. Gonna meet Chuck halfway. How's it looking over the dinosaur base? Not much is happening right now. A couple of people here waiting for some disruption. Shikali will be here in probably 10-15 seconds. This could be a, a quick grab. Rainy coming around the back here, taking a long time on their route. Seller and Ale are both going down the flag stand. Abayo the only one there to left, left to disrupt. The defense Undisrupted are quite low. Flag stand here. But I don't think it's going to help. Rainy's coming in now very fast. Coming in at 240, coming in from over the back. Ale on the flag stand to disrupt. It looks like no one's there. Fully disrupted flag stand and a nice grab there. Very nice grab coming out with 300 health and 210 speed. Not much action going on at the Diamond Sword base here though. They no, they've got a lot of defense there. here. Got Seo coming in and Shikali. Svenner out with the e-grab, not much health though. No, I think he might get sniped. Let's keep an eye on him. Seller also just kind of lurking around the over 9000 base now. And there goes the snipe. Looks like Vice Lord's going to head over there for the return. Doesn't seem any uh, over 9,000 players are coming out to get the return here, so it looks like a clean, clean home safe. Doesn't look like they're going to get challenged on that. Although Bart is coming in, not going to be able to get that, that grab though. No, I think that's going to be a return on cap. Yep, and that's two 0 Two nil, two flatliners. Still very early though. 
both teams' generators are up at the minute. For anyone who doesn't know, the turrets on Bell Omega are actually extremely effective just because they're quite clustered and close to the flank stand. And with the recent uh, buffs to the turrets, they are worthwhile to keep up and upgraded. Yeah, also, if you keep the generator up, you get two force heals covering the front and the back. That blocks off effectively half of the routes into the base. Got Rainy coming in for a cap now. Flag stands a little bit disrupted by Bio, but I think they might see him coming in here. Oh, Shikali's making it home. Rainy taking down the flag stand. Shikali no back at base here now. at all. That's, that's going to be a cap. That's 2-1. That was a good cap there by Shikali. Nice, simple grab. Worked well. So yeah, we're back to status quo. Both flags and the flag stands. Ale pushing up through mid to disrupt again. Bio on the left, and Rainy coming in quite far behind though. He might want to try and speed up his route if he has any chance of that. Because you know, the disrupt's going to get there far before he does. And it looks like Seo's disrupting, but for nobody. As far as Shaq's, I can see. Shaq's coming in pretty fast actually, but I don't think Seo's close enough to the flag stand to really be drawing anyone off. Charlie's coming in on his own now, 260 speed, he might have seen him. Very Shikali, nice done there. Shikali grabs it, but low health, like a sliver of health. Very nice conk there, knocking both the disruption off the flag stands he came in. Savannah might be able to pick this up from the field. Rain now coming in for the same grab again, coming from the back. Yankee and Nave on the flag stand, no disruption there at all. Doesn't make it out, the flag's in the field though. How's the damage for Dumbsword base is looking um, actionless. There's not much happening right now. Looks like Shikali might be coming in for a grab soon, though. No disruption in place. Sayo looks like he's heading into place to disrupt, but I don't think he's going to be on much use just on his own. Oh, Kabao might be coming in as well. This could be good. Here we go. Sayo electing to use the Arx Buster instead of the grenade launcher. That was a good grab there by Shikali. Almost out clean. And then he gets hit with the base turret. Again, those base turrets on this level are lethal. Oh, Got another Rainy. reason to take them down, guys. Rainy again setting up at the back. Seller in the heavy now, uh, disrupting the enemy flag stand, and Ale and Bio look like they're on the way over. Bio's in, in comes Rainy from the back. Coming at 220. Ale Not might be dummying in here. Rainy with a clean grab. Very, Very nice, nice grab. Disrupted there. Looks like he could make the same if he doesn't get sniped. Got you Shikali might have to coming, throw this flag. Shikali coming in for the e-grab. Taking down just before oh. he the flag stand. And that flag is it's in the field, guys. It's a drop. No one seems to be moving into position to try and get that back yet. I don't think they've noticed it. Adria Both there is sat the waiting on the flag stand. I don't think he realises the flag's out. Cabal coming for a grab now. He's going to just juggle that flag about, try and get rid of that uh, defender. Although Rainy's coming to help as well, and the seller. I don't think Cabal's going to manage to get that anyway. That looks like a retrieve. And that's 3-1. Okay. It's interesting to see here that one of the generators is down. I'm not sure if both teams are going for the generators or only one. Yeah, the over 9,000 generators down. I would have thought they would try and keep it up. But it doesn't look like they're running a technician anymore. They seem to have traded that off. That sentinel is dominating on this map. Well, it's quite a large map, so you've got a lot of time to try and acquire your target and get that shine. Cabal and Genestia are fighting over the Flatliners flag right now. Both very low, one grenade Yeah, Seo coming in as well, might be able to grab this quickly. Genestia are down. I think oh, it looks like they, they might bring this home. Slowly, but it might do it. Slow and Vysord here coming in for the retrieve. Sorry. Rain in with a very quick grab there. The, the defense was very well disrupted there, and he comes out at 240 with 400 health. Nobody managed to keep up with him, and no sniper hitting him here. He looks like he's home clean. Looks like he might have a standoff here. Shikali be waiting for him. See if Shikali can get a conk grenade on him. He's the only one there. It's going to be quite risky to on his own. He's already got nailed at the half health by Gene Steel there. A yeah, the taken out by a mini turret. Ale on the other side going for the recovery. Sven is skiing around near the back of the map and the D are pushing a little bit further forward to try and keep enemy away from him. Doesn't look like there's too much of a threat at the minute. Bio and Seller are both hanging around their base, but they're vastly outnumbered. How's the Dime Sword flag looking? They're clustering it on their flag stand. Both generators are down now, so they might move away. Normally it's quite a good idea to stay with your turrets if they're up, but... Again, both down now. They, they hit very hard. 
also from the flag stand you have the advantage that you have a very large uh, field of view as to what, how much of the battlefield you can see. So you can see people coming a lot further off than you could if you were positioned near one of the back hills where you'd have to be taking cover behind them. Very true. Diamond Sword flag down the field there, and return. Oh, that was very nice. Very nice return there. That's 4-1 and 15 minutes remaining. So Carly setting up now, by the looks of it. Coming for a left to right. Yeah, Sayer is ready for disruption or possibly even a dummy run. It looks like he's going pretty high up. He might go for a run here. Never nope, mind. doesn't the, uh, look like it. Not sure what happened there. Sven is coming in for disruption as well. Here comes Shikali. I don't think it's enough for generator though. Play. Very oh, nice good enough. There. Good enough. Almost body blocked by his own teammate, which would be embarrassing. <laughs> We've got not much going on over the Blood Eagle base either. Yeah, Shikali getting sniped. He's on low health. One of his teammates is going to have to meet him and grab that from him. I don't know. Oh, it looks like Sayo might be hanging over to meet him here. He isn't, he's with him, but they are not passing off here by the looks of it. This looks like a cap. Nope. Was that a con grenade? I don't know. Flags on the flag stand now. Ale over the top. There's a lot of fighting over this flag. Ale, we don't want to make sense. G still coming for return. Hey. Randy coming in, but didn't manage to grab the flag. Looks like this might definitely actually be a cap. Oh no, never mind. They returned. I totally missed that. It was a cap. Oh, it was a cap. Oh, yes, God. it was. I'm being a bit slow here, don't worry. <laughs> okay, we've got Seller setting off for the disruption again. Same Rainy again up. here, we've got Shikali coming in for a route. Bounced a bit weirdly off the crater there, but looks like he's lost a bit of his speed. Surely he's one of his conks here. Conks coming in quick it. there. Vice Lord's seen him. Oh, wonderful body block by Vice Lord there. Somehow still managed to get it off the flag stand, but chained down outside. Looks like they might leave that flag in the field. We're only coming in now, 240. Grab right on the nose, is fucking health though. Nice and fast, one chain but all taken down here. He needs to meet someone at mid pass. Ale is here. Ale's he there, might so pass us off. The dinosaur flag is down there generally, so it's a very safe location. Oh, I hit the ground a bit hard. It looks like this might be game if they don't manage to pull something out of the back here. Shikali's going in for the retrieve, and so is Nave and Cabal. They've got to get their flag, they can't let that be returned. Mobius going for the grab there, managed to get out of the field. Pushing up to the oh, top of the tower. Oh, this could be good. Nope, he Cabal was grab there. Defense was too occupied fighting off the other attackers. Cabal seems to have made it out so far with no damage. Coming in, only 130. Shikali and Seo coming in for the retrieve, this looks like it could be good. Mobius and Adroa here. Beautiful Kong there, Shikali. Can Seo grab it? Adroa there, priority on the flag. Oh. And managing to take down that last attacker. Being all alone at base now, Sven is coming in. Kong grenaded. This might be a return here. Nope. Quick grab by Gene Steeler. They're dueling off the base here. Slide down. Very good defensive slide there. This looks like a retrieve. And Very it nice is. retrieve by Dino Sword. That looks like it might be game. Yeah. It is indeed. Good game. Good game. Good game. So, 5 2 to Flatliners. Quite a good Very game. Good match. Yeah. Nice Bella's coordination there by both teams, I think. Yeah, Bella's always a horrible map to start on because it's quite big and it has the generators as an added element. So, it's not very good for a warm up map. It's nice to get out of the way, early, I suppose. So, what map are we on to next? I've lost track of my rotation. No idea, but we'll find out in 10 seconds. Ooh, the, the, the suspense. This will be the it was nice to, to see the here. coordination with both teams and their pickup players. I mean, both both teams here are one player down, so they've grabbed someone from the IRC. And communications but were quite good, despite they've never playing together before. Exactly, the disruption and the caps are working very well together. So we'll move on to Arcs Novena next. A map which is until recently not been played the that much. The two most comp. annoying maps in a row. There you go, get out of the way early. Would you like to read the teams again, sir? Sure thing. Flatliners is on Diamond Sword, right? Correct, Mungo. Okay, for Flatliners we have Gene Stealer, Mobius, Vice Lord, Bio, Adria, Rainy, Seller, and Ale. And for over 9,000 we have Marcus, Seo, Svenner. Sorry, sorry. Uh, this seems like a switch around. We have Marcus, Svenna, O'Shannon, Yankee, Shrek, Cabal, Nave, and Seo. 
Interesting thing straight away here, both teams are running five offense and three defense by the looks of it. Which does tend to be the way with uh, arcs, because it's quite small, you want to get those, those chain grabs in very quickly and you can roll the map through very easily. Yeah, Flatliners are also running a Sentinel. I'm guessing he's going to set himself up on the bridge in the middle. Rainy staying off a very early camp here, coming from a back to front. Coming in at a modest 200, it's not doing too bad. No he disruption. It looks like he's pulled off his camping route there to look off into the hills. Incredibly fast grab by Marcus there. Wow, straight through Whoa. very quick there. Flags in the field still bouncing away. Shrek needs to turn around and come down the hill to grab that. Or oh, we lost Flatliners defences on it though. Looks like it could still be retrieved by Ale. coming in. Oh, very close. Very nice grab there. Got taken out on the way out though, unluckily. The defence isn't at the flags down there. Sayo just walks that off. Gets taken down very quickly once they realise that he has nice the shot there by Vice Lord. Not much action going on at the over 9000 base here now though. Seems their defense is holding a little bit better than the last map with no grab so far. As I said, that Rainy comes in with a another miss on the flag. They got nailed on the flags down by Thumpers. Looks like Cabal's going for a quick grab here. Mobius and Gene Stealer on the defense. No, nope, they've decided to pull off there for disruption. Sven is coming in on a left to right by the looks of it. Yeah, and we've got Marcus coming in for a quick back to front, but no disruption here on the flatliner base. Here he comes, let's see if he managed to pull this out. He's going quick. He's going very fast now, coming at 2 third, coming from the back. Def oh, sniped by Mobius. Very nice shot. Yeah, like I said there, Ale is in the bridge in the middle. Nice view of the entire map from there. Oh, hold on. Ale is actually playing juggernaut offense. That's something we've seen a lot more of since the uh, patch, which uh, gave the MIIP launcher. Oh, a nice e grab there by Bio. Sayo's going to come out. Not, he's not very high. He's on 160, and he goes down to Nave there in the midfield. Looks like that might be a camp. Rainy coming in. Yeah, I think he's going to get there in time. There. And a re grab by Rainy. Rainy, a couple of seconds too late with that e grab. Looks there. like he could make this home though. Might make it home. Yeah, looking good. Defense needs to keep that flag there. That's the things about these small maps, they can go either way very quickly. That's 1-1. One, one. Oh, yeah, Shannon if you get one brilliant back to front grab, you can be at home in seconds. O'Shannon oh, decided to get very familiar with the turret there. And a very nice shot by Vice Lord there to kill the flank area. Cabal coming into the, uh, in the field pickup though. Misses and now the defense pushes on to try and push him off. Save is going to grab it instead. Very nice. Coming out at 197 health, gets sniped there, coming at 190 speed. Looks like he's going to pass this off to Cabal or Shrek. There's plenty of people there to pass off to, so he doesn't need to pass it. And doesn't look like he called for it. No one's, no one's going for him. No one pushing out to grab that either. Looks like Sayer might be heading up to finally try and take that flag. Yeah, None I think they've still got defense. it. Sven is setting up for a re-grab here by the looks of it. But to re they need to get their flag back. This looks like it could be a cap. Could it, could it. Very nice. There you go. 2-0 to over 9,000. Sven uh, coming in for... nope, denied. Marcus coming in from the back. Comes on to no, nice side. grab there by Marcus. Getting very low, he's going to go down here. He needs someone to come out and meet him. The deer all whoring him down in the mid. Looks like Sayo is with him. Sayo is probably going to get the grab here. Unless a small miracle happens. Oh, Cabal grabs comes in. Cabal comes up and starts running for base. Vice Lord's on him though. And a beautiful con grenade there by Vice Lord. The defense managing to hold that base, but it's not going to matter if they can't get it back. Need to push that That was a more. great retrieve there. Sellers now switch to Juggernaut offense and going in to disrupt for Rainy by the looks of it, coming off the back to front. Ale also in the flag stand disrupting now, he's coming in quite fast, coming at 240. Going for a back to front now, clear flag stand, Rainy straight clear out now. clear. Marcus looks like he might be going for a, a knee grab, not sure if he'll get there in time though. Doesn't look like he is, this might be 2-2. Two, two. There we yeah, go. Yeah, that's 2-2. Two, two. Very nice cap by Rainy there. And a re-grab by Marcus, he's out clean. The back to front on this level is uh, especially dangerous just because the, the map is, you can cross the map in 5 or 6 seconds. It's too risky to let someone come through that. Marcus has made a home out of by the looks of it though, going for a 3-2 now. Yeah, very nice indeed. Very quick caps here. Got Bio setting up and Ale coming in as well for the disruption. 
Might be a cap actually, he might try to grab. No, he does break off the disruption. Rain's coming around, but he's quite a way off. I don't think he's gonna get there in time for this disruption to actually be able to help him very much. Does not like we have any cappers coming in anytime soon. Sven, it looks like he's setting up uh, quite far off into the hills here. It's gonna take him another 15 seconds or so to actually get round to where he can grab the flag. Rainy here coming in for back defense. Um, Seller and Bio going in for disruption. Bio very low, decides to pull off there. Rainy coming in now, same route again. Ail is waiting on the hill at the back as well, possibly for a re -grab. Ooh, Rainy gets taken down on the flags down by Yankee there, very nicely done. Sven are coming in for another grab on the Diamond Sword flag here. Ayo coming in for a back to front. Other That's a that, clean not, grab. There's no disruption in the enemy base. They need to push in to get this Diamond Sword flag off for the E-grab here. Marcus comes in but gets disked on the flag stand. Sven are now trying their luck. Coming in, the force field has gone up so they got Doom Bringer now. As they obviously know, just the generators aren't going down very much. A <laughs> pass off to the Nice the pass there. <laughs> Not sure that was entirely necessary, but it looked very cool, so that's fine. I don't think he had the energy to get up. Seller now coming into the disrupt. Doesn't look like there's any cappers coming in, though. It's just him on the flags down there. He has managed to take out most of the defense. Not sure what he's doing. O'Hara has joined. So I'll tell him politely it's a match. <laughs> Anyway, we have Sell and Bio both are disrupting on the Bloody Eagle flag now. Still no cappers coming in from what I can see, so there's a bit of a wasted uh, disruption. Rainy's coming in, but he's very far off, and they went We've far got too early Marcus there. coming in here, with um, Seo and Svenna possibly disrupting. Oh, he's getting sniped. Svenna's coming in, gonna grab him. Took falling damage there, because he had to try and get over that force field. He's coming out on 247 health, 19 health now. And get a suicide, he punts the flag. That, that is unfortunate. Off. And they didn't manage to get the pick up there. Ail's coming for a side to side here, coming in quite fast. Gets knocked into the wall there, doesn't manage to go over. And he goes down the midfield. Rainy looks like he's coming in for a re-grab as well. He's going to take a while to get around there, he doesn't seem to Spire actually start. Seller are going to try and force this return. The Diamond Sword Generator has gone down now, they've decided to start running a Doombringer. Wise choice. Very good choice. It basically neutralizes most of the Doombringer's usefulness when it comes to its defense, apart from its mines. We did have a grab by Marcus then, though, coming out at five, uh, coming out at five ten health and one hundred and thirty speed. So not the fastest grab, but actually getting sniped now. He's got a lot of friends with him. I don't think they're going to get this back with just Vice Lord there, unless he can get a very lucky con. Which he did. A Which he does indeed. Grenade. I Come think on, he deserves to get that return now, that was a fantastic. Spinner picks up. Oh. There. Nice effort though. We've got Rainy coming in for a grab by the looks of it. Uh, if this flag does get returned, I don't think he's going to get there before their cap does though. Bio with a good e-grab there, managed to push the flag further into the field, making Rainy more time to get into position for an e-grab. No one else in the flag stand, I don't think he's going to get there fast enough. And that's 4-3. Uh, Two this over 9,000. Like quite a close match. Over 9,000 have shown they, uh, they do know what they're doing apparently. Kicked, their, kicked into gear a bit on this one and doing far better than they did in the last one. The defense is holding up a lot stronger than it was before. Maybe this sort of map just suits their style more. We've got uh, Seller coming in for disruption here on the flag. Ale coming in as well, maybe for a grab. Coming pretty quick from side to side. And there's the grab by Seller there. Not Seller, sorry, Ale. Yeah, very nice grab. Coming from side to side, he's coming out with 400 health and 180 speed. Nobody chasing him at the minute. It looks like people are going to try and cut him off here at mid, though. Yeah, and Shrek here Shrek going to cut him off. Oh, him. beautiful. They did both but he dies. Flag, though. Hey, I might be able to get the flag back here. <laughs> and start <laughs> his route all over again. Sven here now trying to pick him off a vital to come down to support. I think Vice needs to get a bit closer so they can get a pass off going on here. Yeah, he might have to pass this off to Vice Lord pretty sharpish. There's the pass. Or did he go down? I think he went down actually. Got Rainy coming in as well, but they managed to return the flag before he managed to land. So we're back to status quo. We are indeed with a 4 3 to in favour of over 9000 playing as Blood Eagle. Very solid performance for both teams so far, there's no massive weaknesses in either. 
ale coming in pretty fast now, coming in at 200 or so from a right to left. Yeah, we've also got Marcus coming in for a back to front. <laughs> back to front? Back to front. front. Cabal there waiting for disruption. Ale coming in now, coming right through the tunnels. Oh, gets very nicely deflected off the flag stands Ooh, there. By that was Yankee. a very quick grab there by Marcus. Marcus already, in, already into the midfield. That's That looks clean. Rainy coming in for an E grab. Ale as well, don't think they're going to make it though. Misses. Misses. Flag. Oh, I'll be kicking about myself that tomorrow. Vice Lord also misses the flag. That looks like a cat, but it might be game. Oh, it's split second things like that which can make or break a game. Very nicely done by over 9000. Very strong show. Some reporting that there's some commit freezing on the stream. Huh. But I'm watching it myself and it's all smooth on my end. Uh, try resetting your uh, browsers, guys. It might sometimes help. So there we go, that's one map each now, with the first map going to Flatliners and this one going to over 9000. That's a very nice play by both teams, very good clutch grabs. The disruption on both teams is very strong, that's one thing I've noticed. Saw some crazy grabs there, Marcus, 320 km an hour. It was very nice. If anyone doesn't know, this is over 9000's first match, so I think they're doing extremely well for their first game. Flatlines yeah, definitely. A little, a little bit more experience. They are an old uh, T1 team, I think. Don't hang me if it's T2. It's one of them, and uh, they're kind of getting the getting the crew back together, as it were. All right, guys, we're live on Dry Dock. Name reader, go. Okay, on Diamond Sword for Flatliners, we have Mobius, Gene Stealer, Vice Sword, Bio, Ale, Adra, Rainy, and Seller. And on Blood Eagle for over 9,000, we have O'Shannon, Marcus, Shrek, Yankee, Seo, Zvena, Cabal, and Nave. Again, both teams are running a three defense team here, and 5-0, I think. Dry Dock again is on this map, you can get those very fast caps on, so the heavy offense tends to lend itself to chain grabs and so on. True, only Flatline is running a Sentinel on this map, that's very surprising, it's a massively open map. It is a very strong map for uh, Sentinels here, we've got Cabal coming for disruption for the over 9000 team. And we've got Marcus and Sven are both coming from the back hill. I'm not sure where the rest of their offense is, I don't know why Cabal went in on his own there. Sven might be dummying in here and Marcus might pick up. We'll see. Both coming in quite fast. Sven dummies, oh, Marcus grabs, brilliant. Done. Oh, they're going to meet Ale at halfway. Give him a wave, and not as even Ale picked up. Yeah, quite a fast pickup, by the looks of it. Back to base, 190 health. Defense is all there. Looks like we might see a standoff pretty early. Shrek going for the return here. Oh. Didn't manage to get it. He is fast here, number but Marcus does make it home, but there's a lot of enemies there. Seller, Vice Lord, and Rainy, all of the enemy base. Marcus on low health now. Decides to fly right through the base with 276 health. His uh, defense seems to be pushing out to cover him. He's going to have to pass us off. Advantage. Now the Vysel's down, they have a bit of breathing room, although Ale is coming in pretty fast. No massive offense coming in on the Diamond Sword base. Got just no, they, there. Need, they need to sit back and regroup and go in at once. Stalemates are an opportunity to do that. Where you can kind of, you pull everyone back onto D, you have, a, have just a couple of seconds, figure out what you're doing and push everyone back out. The uh, Diamond Sword flag is down on the field there. Uh, Sella and Rainy both going for a turn, Rainy might get it here. Very nice return, oh, that's the first cap of the game. E grab here. Oh, he misses it. Misses the flag, and that's a cap. Two flatliners. One nil. Yeah, very nice um, offense work there by flatliners. It was very good. Uh, Savannah's coming in now from the back, by the looks of it. Going uh, right past their base here. And looks like he's going to go up onto the hill, maybe start for a back to front when the disruption of there. The Possibly. They've seen him, though. They're sniping him. Rainy's coming around the back as well. A lot of people setting up for routes here, but not much disruption or attack going on. We have got Bio kind of lurking around the Blood Eagle base here, and Andro are coming in, Ale coming in from the back as well. Oh, to here go. comes Marcus. Marcus is going to be setting up back to front here. Looks like it's a very quick route. There he is. Nice and high, nice and fast here. Not sure what route he's going for, he has to turn quite hard here to get into the flag. She this does. could be a very quick grab if he pulls us off. In at 250. Grabs the flag there. Going straight very up. nice. Very quickly to get hauled down though. He's at 300 health. Sniper on him as well. I need someone to take this off him. 
at all his defense in mid there. Maybe Yankee or Sayo could take it off him, maybe Cabal. I but think he's going to pass this to O'Shannon. Like yeah, it looks like a, a smooth finish here for this count. And that's 1-1. One, one. Again, very consecutive grabs for both teams here. Ale with a very nice grab there coming out 230 up the hill. He might as well be home already, no one's going to be able to keep up with him. Looks like there might be a very quick second gap. Yeah, it doesn't look like they have any e grabs coming. Oh, he missed the play again, Cabal there, unlucky. Spenner coming in for a back to front. They're disrupted. Not coming in that fast. Oh. oh. Taking down the flags down there by Gene Stealer. Rainy coming for a very quick grab on the flag now. Managed to get out. He is currently cruising along at a very smooth 240. And he's on 480 health. He's going like to meet Shrek though. Marcus is around the back. Not going to be time to get for an e grab though. That's why he didn't. He seems to just be starting to stay up on the hill there. And that's 3-1 to the Flatliners. Yeah, I'm not sure what Marcus is doing over here. Cabal's oh, he's coming in for a back to front. And he managed to go right past the bar. That's unlucky. Yeah. Cabal's still there for the disruption if anyone else wants to try and capsulize on this. I don't think they're going to be able to though. I think Sayo might be. Ale gets straight out again with that same route. 260 health. 230 speed. Cabal going for e-grab. He grabs Sayo. it out. Sayo, time to step up. Go and grab that flag. Cabal made it out. Cabal somehow managed to make it out of there. Vice on his tail though. And oh, disc. Speed, he gets sniped and disc. Looks like they're fighting over this flag. Oh, that looks like a cap. So now the cap's 4-1 to flatliners. We're going to have a very quick grab by Svenna though. If he can get this, uh, get this off. There we go. No. Oh, taking down the flash on the GC again. GC and Vice are a very dangerous couple on uh, defense. With a mix of the uh, their nitrons and their thumpers on stand, it's uh, pretty hard to get through without a good decent disruption. Yeah, Pathfinder and Defense is actually quite viable now. Especially yeah. if you like Assault Rifle. Exactly. Sayo and Kabal here both disrupting. No one coming through ground quite yet, although Marcus and Sven are both setting up on the top. Ale is setting up for the same route he normally does. Kamal hiding very sneakily behind this uh, big sniper tower here, but he looks like he's going to get jeweled off by Gene Stealer. Here comes Sven Ale. Sven are coming in on the grab here. Nitron on the flag stand again, showing how Vice can use those conks. Flatliner's disruption there was just perfect. Ale's out clean. 684 health at 220 speed. This might be a cap. Oh no, Marcus comes in there with the That e was a good e-grab there by Marcus, actually. 240, very fast. 280 there. Yeah, full health like, as well. Looks like we might see our second standoff of the game here. Which I hope for uh, for over 9,000's sake it goes to be better than last one, because if they manage to get that flag back, that's game. That's over 9,000 of Nave, Sayo and Cabal on the offense. So it's Stop. a 3 versus 5 fight here. Rainy and Seller on the offense here for the flatliners. Nave coming in for the uh, attack here. He's on his own though, he's not going to get anything back. Need to group up when you're going against teams with a decent organized defense. Coming in one at a time, just giving them free credits. Very true. Not much action going on at either base right now, but both teams seem to be sort of setting up for another offensive go. But Cabal and Sayo are coming into the dinosaur base, and we have uh, Ale, Rainy, and Bai all coming in for the flatliners flag. Here we go, Sayo and Cabal. Looks like they're waiting. Rainy coming in with the Pathfinder now, gonna try and Nitron. Go for that mid-air Nitron, always a bit of a risky move. You might as well just make to wait till they land. Bio's left all on his own here at the flag now. Don't think he's gonna get this one back. Yeah, he gets taken down on the roof. Over 9,000 offense here is very good. They might get this back. Looks like they might, they're doing very well here. Flags in the field. Oh, time to be a hero, Svenna. Come on, Cabal. Cabal just left. Precisely the smart thing and not just dive straight onto that flag. Oh, so close though. And there we go, back to the uh, back to the standoff situation with Noho in either base now. Again, another wave of attacks. Seo here is waiting for the rest of his team. Got Rainy, Byer and uh, Ale all coming out for the offense now. And Seo, Marcus and Sven are all going for their offense. Seo, Sven, Marcus and possibly Cabal coming in as well. Here they come, all hell breaks loose in the dinosaur base. GST is in a bit of trouble here, a lot of people are Ooh, he's down. down. Could Sayo get the return here? Very yes. nice return by Sayo. 
Be beautiful work there. Well e quick e-grab. Very nice offense work there. Very nice indeed. And that was a cap there. So now 4-2, still in favor of uh, Flatliners. Mark is coming now for a nice fast grab. I think he got seen, so he doesn't manage to make out very far with that. Just punts it right just past the turret. Cabal coming in, but he's not going to be able to get out with that. He is on 70 health. I think he'll wait and see if he can, see if he can disrupt. Sven and, Sven and Ale both meet over the top, back hill. Ale coming from quite a fast route here by the looks of it. He's coming at 200 now. If the coordination is good, then both teams now know what routes they're doing. There's no disruption here for Ale whatsoever. He's coming in all on his own. Rainy coming in for the grab as well. Dummies through and Rainy just nailed on that flag stand. Svenna picks the flag up from the field beautifully. Very high there, 200. Sniped there again by Mobius. Mobius playing a very important role in this game. I'm surprised we have and Vice Order after that flag. I'm surprised we haven't seen uh, 9,000 run a Sentinel yet. Me too. It seems to be uh, affecting them quite badly. Maybe they haven't got a player comfortable playing, I suppose. So there we go, both flags. Nope, sorry, just the Blood Eagle flag now in the field. Marcus grabbed that break quicker, back to front. It's coming through, looks like that might be another cap. This might be a cap. And it is, it's going to be 4-3. Very nice oh, that was a beautiful by. cap, that was. Very nice work by over 9,000. Brady is saying up saying the back to front. Room. The back, yep. <laughs> sorry. And Bio no disruption though. Bio was disrupting me, was taken down, he went in far too early there, I think. But he's still on the route, and Dro are coming in to disrupt now, and on his own again. I'm going to have to wait to see what he does here. Rainy seems to be just waiting at the back of the hill. Marcus comes out to meet him and starts to try and duel him up. Not much going on at the Flatliners base though. We've got Seo and Cabal both set up to disrupt, but not going in quite yet. Svenna coming in from the back hill, coming in at 210 now. Uses the this could be a nice grab. 250. This could be a very nice grab here. Disruption took a while to come in there, so not actually any disruption. He on the misses flag it. I think that was a bit of a body block actually. I think he bounced off someone. Come on, oh, take a bow. the flag stand. Marcus coming in for the grab though. For anyone who is curious, we are running the kind of uh, the the rule set floating around at the minute, which is uh, no infiltrate capping, no whiteouts, one strike, and that's it. I think. <laughs> One sentinel, I think, is also there. And one sentinel, yeah. And that seems to be the dominant rule set at the moment. And, oh, and no strikes. Like all and so on. This is all obviously still up for discussion, but... And that's 5-0 there. Game. By, uh, to win to Flatliners. So that's two maps to one now in favour of Flatliners. Not very dominant games either way. They've all been quite fought for. Yeah, it's quite good. It's good competition here. It's nice to see, um... Just what I was saying about the back-to-front routes and dry dog, you can get a flag home in 10 seconds or less. Exactly, exactly. So it's all about the disruption. I will be right back for 20 seconds. Entertain people, Zero. Oh god. So next up, I think we have Crossfire. Similar sort of situation, small map, very quick grabs. I am back. Although I could be completely wrong and it might not be Crossfire next. We can hope. Crossfire is a uh, very similar map to... It is Crossfire. ASD. It's a very similar map to Dry Dock in the way that all the caps tend to be very fast and chain grabs, once they get rolling, are very hard to stop. Especially with a team like Flatliners who I've seen very... or in the last match we cast one, push their defense out very far when they need that recovery. Go for the teams, homie. Will do, Bruski. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> On over 9,000 we have Svenna, Cabal, Seo, O'Shannon, Shrek, Marcus, Naven, Yankee. And on Flatliners we have Gene Steeler, Bio, Mobius, Vice Lord, Adria, Nash, Rainy and Seller. Both teams running a 4-4 here by the looks of it. And that's pretty standard for a crossfire. It tends to be a uh, quite an, an easy map to balance out however your team wants to do it. Svenna coming in very fast and high now, coming in at 210. 220, sorry, coming for a, a uh, right to left. And over the back now, no disruption on the flag stand. They say it looks like he came through. He had to slow right down there to lose. Lost all his speed there to try and get the flag and didn't manage to. Rainy coming in very left to right though. Again, yeah, no sometimes, the flag stand. sometimes it's just worth waiting, letting your teammates take down the turrets before you go in for your cap. Rainy Saying that, came. Rainy's Ra out. Yeah, he got out somehow on very high health there, despite the fact there was a lot of D around him. 
Mark make no, it home here straight to meet up him, though. Mark's going for an e Oh, he gets taken out there by Svenna. Do you need to push out and grab that? Sella picking up on very low health though. Chained down by O'Shannon, who might get the return here unless uh, unless Bio can work a miracle. Do you manage to be bouncing right over the flag there? Flags in the field, Vice Lord comes through to pick up, no pick up there. And Bio gets taken out by O'Shannon. It looks like it might be a safe camp here unless they can uh, pull some other hats. Bio doesn't have the energy doesn't to get have up. The energy to the flags down. It could be a, a small crutch. Gonna pass it on to Mice Lord there. And there we go. The so that's 1 0 to Flatliners on the uh, fourth map we're playing. Between uh, over 9000 and Flatliners. We have Adra here coming in for a nice uh, left right. And Marcus. Oh, Marcus getting very nicely body blocked by Nash on the flags down there. Looks Adra. like he didn't go for the flag in the end. Rainy's coming in though. Coming in at 203. There's a lot of disruption on the stand now. With Bio this could be and good. Adro there. Oh! Oh, very nice Marcus. By Marcus there. That was a beautiful uh, blue plate special that's, there. That's one for the highlight reel. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. So Cabal and Say are both in the empty base now. I don't think they'll be able to do much on their own right now. So there doesn't seem to be a camper. Oh, I take that back. Svenner is coming in for a right to left here. We Cabal nice and Sayo switch. disrupting. Nobody on the flag stand. Let's see. He's getting some fires on that. Comes through and take on the flag oh, stand. Oh, you see that pong grenade there by Vice Lord. Very nicely done. So we've got a Boa, Boa? A Bio and a Droa both pushing into disrupt. Rainy sitting on the outside for a very nice fast cap by the looks of it. Dinosaur flag returned there by Nash. Rainy's definitely coming here. Bio's trying to sneak around the back, maybe trying to do some back to front disruption. Oh, Svenner in the front to back. Front to back. Looks like he's going to hide behind that hill, stay out of the sight of the sniper. Front to backs are quite risky on crossfire in the way that they're not that hard to do. But your the time it takes you to get value base is at least doubled on this map. That was a nice shot there by Vice Lord. It was very nice. You can cover the middle of the map in what, ten seconds on this map? If that's about that, if that, yeah. Whereas you go on the outside route, it's gonna take you at least thirty seconds to get back to your base. Yeah, any decent defense players will cut you off pretty quickly. Exactly, yeah. They're good for E grabs, but I wouldn't do them as a uh, main sort of mainstay flagging route, camping route even. So you got uh, Sven, Kapal and Marx all coming to the base. All of them on quite low health here though. Mobius and Sell are still on defense and Bio just respawned. I think Marcus is ready here for a back to front. If he doesn't get taken out by Vice Lord. Sven is coming in very quick now, 220. I coming spoke to Left to right. Sayo's coming in as well for the disruption. There's no disruption there, but I don't think I've seen him. Body block very nicely by Gene Steel on the stand there. Oh, I think, was that the super heavy perk there? Uh, it might well have been, let me have a look. It was indeed, he's running safety third and super heavy. So heavy obviously wasn't banned in the matchup, although some teams have opted to do that in the last few matches. Apparently not. We've got uh, Cabal, Marcus and Sayo will coming in for disruption and Marcus might be up for the cap here. This is looking quick for Marcus, Cabal disrupting, Sayo disrupting. They need to get some more explosives on that flag stand, they're not really clearing off that well. Oh. Again taken out on the flag stand, very nice D here by the flatliner team. Not letting the enemies get any caps out at all here. That was a nice cap there. Very quick. At this point, I'd be thinking if I was on, um, if I was on m what can they change to push in heavy on the D on the O here? I think they need to push some extra offensive players out just to weaken up that defense because the defense is getting them every time with the cappers. The caps aren't making out at all. That's true. Okay, speaking of which, Marcus is coming in now at 250, very nice from side to side. Andrew Thompson. and Rainey are also coming in for a grab, let's see if Andrew dummies it for Rainey. Sayo just on the flag stand, again taking on the flag stand by Gene Steel. Brutal defense. It's very you brutal see, and heavy defense by both. That, that was a bad move there by Seller, he grabbed the flag when Rainey was behind him, he should have just dummied it. Rainey seems to be uh, the man against the world right now. <laughs> and uh... He fought the law and he did not win. Ah, <laughs> uh, I never thought I'd say that. Nash is here trying to take down Svenna. Looks like he might succeed. It's on 300, 350 yes, health yes. isn't enough to... And a nice return. Single-handedly. Nice the over 9000 flag is in the field, but they're defending quite heavily there, but looks like with O'Shannon and Nave both on it. Bio coming in with the field Ooh. grab there. Managed to get out with full health. He is a raider though. Not using the whiteouts due to the fact they're banned, so he's not really able to get that much speed here. Pretty no, he looks like he's going to pass this off to Adra. 
This could be a very nice pass. Defense are trying to cut him off, but it looks like they have a bit of harassment there. Nade managed to get a nice nade on him. Pushed him off course, so if he was going to do that pass, he's not going to do it anymore. Nade is very low though. All, he, all Bayern needs to do is switch around with the SMG and do that. Looks like he's making it home. Very nicely done by Bayern. Good, good field pickup. Managed to get it clear. He does need someone to pass it off to though. You can't risk it. Nice ready for him. Marcus there with the e-grab. Walking out on 55 health now and gets taken out very nicely by Vice Lord. Oh, Shannon now with an e-grab. Oh, and a return. Fantastic return by Shrek there coming at the very right second. Well I didn't expect that. Grab. Very nicely done again. Very good play by both teams here. Adra grabbed, but low health. Doesn't look like he's going anywhere with that one. Their defense, their um, disruption doesn't seem to be making a dent in their defense either. It's very strong both ways. I think that uh, Flatlands just managed to get kind of cut through that bit in the armor. Uh, just those lucky few times managed to get the counter. Most time their defense is extremely strong. So we've got Rainy here coming in for a grab. Going a bit high. He's going to sacrifice a lot of his speed again. <laughs> Nave seems to have seen him. Taking yeah. on the flex end. Sven is going nowhere with that one. Again, the disruption just isn't managed to get the defense off the flag stand on either teams. Yeah, very nice defense very from nice both grab. teams anyway. A draw, a very nice uh, field grab there. Again, they're pushing through mid. He's coming in with uh, new full health at 180 miles an hour. Looks like he has oh, the entire over 9,000 team on him. Landed on top of Bio there, managed to lose all his speed. That was unfortunate, Bio there might get the re-grab. Vice here is ready to cluster home. Defense is pushing out here a little bit, but it doesn't. Oh. No, very nice return there by the Blood Eagle team. Leaving enough people on D as well to secure from that re ground. we got Nave and Shrek both on stand. And we're back to a, uh, a reset by the looks of it. Yeah, back to status quo. Both teams are redeploying their offense now after that uh, small cluster. Marcus going very high here. But he's only got 153 health. I have to hope he doesn't stump himself a little bit here to stop his health regen kicking in. Yeah, Marcus, Svenner and Sayo going in for grabs by the looks of it. Marcus is coming at a very odd route, didn't have the MG there to grab. That's a shame, he's coming at 250 miles an hour. Kilometers an hour, sorry. The disruption was actually all over the flank stand then as well. That is a very, shame. Very unfortunate grab. Sellers set up for disruption on the uh, over 9000 base. They've seen him though, I think they're going to take him down. Rainy's coming in as well, they've managed to get... He somehow managed to draw them all off the flank stand though, but I don't think it's going to last long enough for that to be effective. We're only coming in at 200 now. Sorry, 180 now. So it's to pull off there, I'm not sure why. No disruption, it was a wise choice. High. Oh yeah, Marcus very high up. Coming in very fast. To That's quite a nice back to He's not going to, he to pull off again. Backed up there by Seo. Punted there, suicide and punted to flag to the base, but it didn't look like there's any D to get it. Seller going for the return, Vice will come in very quickly now behind. Marcus going for him as well, managed to get him down with the uh, thumper there. Genius did it, some <laughs> flying through, but doesn't manage to clip it. And that very heavy defense there. This could be a cap here if they manage to keep that flag on the stand. This is looking good, yeah. Rainy with the E grab, he's not going to go very far with that, he's on 70 health, taking him very quickly by an SMG there. Flag is returned, going to be a cap. Wait, the flag is down again. <laughs> Marcus going to the flag stand, Sayo's coming in. Very nice shot by Nave there, taking him out before he could get it. Was that a capture? Sorry, I didn't see that. It was indeed, it's now 2-1. Very nice. Very well done by over 9000 to get that flag back onto the stand. Very nice. There's times like that where we know why tactical strikes are banned. I mean, could you imagine that? Yeah, I can imagine orbitals and strikes falling around here. One thing we are seeing that some people might notice is when they're not playing strikes because in the recent patch the strikes seem very uh, jittery. They tend to shake from side to side when you're flying. Yeah, so they seem the a little bit nervous. See, teams seem to be opting to not use them at the minute. There was a um, front to back route there by Svenner. Vicelord's going to try and cut him off. Svenner with the grab there again. Oh, and he gets sniped. sniped. Mobius again is making very making his presence known here on defense. Vice Lord pushing out to secure that flag and make sure no one's going to come in and get a field grab. We notice there's a lot in competitive play actually. When you disrupt the flag stand, you've also got to remember to disrupt the sentinel as well. Exactly. He's just as out. dangerous. Uh, we've got Marcus here on the stand, just going to kind of slowly walk on and pick it up. Doesn't decide to return his flag instead, although Seo does come through and do that for him. 
This is interesting. Mark's going How out. far can you make it? A blistering 100 uh, kilometers an hour here through mid. <laughs> Sayer might come through for the uh, re-grab here. Doesn't manage to grab it. Bounce up over him. Cabal coming in as well. We've got Vysel and Nash there, and Vysel manages to secure the return. So again, back to the status quo with 2-1 with 13 minutes left on the clock. If over 9,000 can win this, it'll be two maps to two maps, and I'll have to play a fifth to go all the way through. We've got Marcus here coming quite high. Rainy as well, so it's uh, close enough to give him a high five there and just pass over each other. Marcus <laughs> coming in with uh, 348 health. Looks like he's going to have a lot more energy this time, coming down with full energy now on the landing. Marcus and Svenna coming in each from a different angle. Marcus coming down 240, there's no disruption on the standoff, and they, they definitely seem coming. Genius to come down. Does he makes it out. Does manage to hit in there with Super Heavy, I think, that's what knocks him down so far. 78 health now, one snipe here. Mobius might be able to take him out. Missing Mobius those should be able shots. to take him out, but he's missing all of those shots. It's very unfortunate timing to miss those shots. Look, this might be home. Marcus coming up. Doesn't have the end. Oh, close. And Drone managed to get out with the flagstone with a very nice e grab there. Is that a retrieve? Coming out it is a retrieve. Very nicely done. Very good offense there. He might even manage to get this home if the D don't decide to get their act together and start chasing because he's all on his own out here. I could imagine Mobius swearing at his computer when he was missing those shots. <laughs> We've all been there. Flatliners have pushed out all of their defense. Nice grab left in the field by Marcus. I still don't manage to stop Marcus picking up there. Navy begins to get down on a draw and looks like it might be a return for the Blood Eagles here. Never mind it. Navy's taking down himself there by with the pickup. And Marcus seems to be out clean for now. Looks like they're not dedicating too many people to chase right now when this could become a stalemate. Vysor is on him, regenerating his HP as well. Only Cabal in the enemy base now, trying to go for Genius to have to get that uh, an over 9,000 flag back. Cabal is their substitute, so he's not there on their regular players, and Shikali is subbing in on the over 9,000 team. This looks like a retrieve. Or not. Svenna grabs it. I refresh, Shikali is actually no longer in the game, I just noticed. No, he left on arcs. Oh, I seem to have uh, missed that. <laughs> they seem to have got their Sorry. other main, main team member in now. Okay, so we've got Marcus and Kabar both pushing out for the offense here. Marcus coming in nice and fast from the top. I think he might be trying to loop around here to try and get this retrieve. Oh, say he had quite a nice route and he bumped into a rock. I'm not sure what happened there. I mean, he came in on his own, managed to get taken out. Kabal's dancing around near the engines and managed to fall off the ship. Sayo coming around now as well, trying to push up with his uh, Pathfinder. Yeah, Obviously here at the um, over 9,000 base, we've got their clustering defense. Looks like Bio is coming in for a retrieve. Opting to uh, hold on the top of the ship here. There's two positions people tend to take, and that's either on the hills behind the ship or on the ship itself. And uh, there's no real best one, but ton some team tends to uh, prefer playing in different places. Personally, we prefer going for the uh, hill at the back. Yeah, I prefer the hill personally. It takes a lot more energy to get up there. Exactly. We might have a uh, return here by Cabal coming very quick. We managed to get the lovely return amongst five people there. I don't see any e grabs. Might, Seller actually might, might e grab this. Shrek coming in, he's going to have to be quick. Looks like Shrek's about to cap this. No. No, could he get the, can he get the grab hit? No, and that's Shrek oh. with a cap. Very that's nice capture. Two all now. Very nice recovery there by um, over 9,000 from a 2 0 up. Yeah, on a, com on a completely undisrupted as well. Not looking very healthy though, he's only 228 health, like one good snipe shot taken right here. And, Mobius and there it is. <laughs> Mobius had him in his sights all along. Got Mobius. <laughs> Cabal's going in for the field grab, are they gonna... Yeah, they're gonna block him. Marcus coming in for a grab here if they do decide to return, which they do. Oh my god, Marcus Cabal takes them both down in one shot. Marcus coming very fast here for a grab, nobody on the flag stand, and he's out clean with 705 health. 230 speed. He's got a couple of chases on him, but I don't think they're going to be able to get him down here. Mobius might. There it is. There's the snipe from Mobius again. If I sort of retrieve that one. I think they really need to make Mobius one of their prime targets on the disruption here. Just go and melee him, take him out. Yeah, he seems to be ignored um, until now. Got a lot of offense coming in here for the over 9000 team. No. Nope. Oh, excuse me. Shoots the flag base. Very unlucky there. Yep, still captures. That's 3-2. That was very quick. Two flatliners. Very close match here with 9 minutes remaining on the clock. Both gens seem to have been up the entire game. Unless I'm mistaken. Don't seem to be a top priority in this. I think you're correct.
despite the fact that the turrets do tend to be quite annoying on this level, in my experience. Yeah, also we have over 9,000 running technician, I'm su you know, surprised. We've got Marcus setting up for a, another side to side here, coming very fast again with a lot of energy. Coming in what looks like it's about 240. Cabal disrupting here. Back steady 200. Ah, here we go, you see plane. Cabal here is disrupting Mobius. Mobius is down. Marcus does make it out, he's on low health, but now that Sniper's neutralized, he has a bit more breathing room if he can get away from these chases. One yeah, he's got a couple of... Sniper's Mo back up, though. Mobius is back up now, you can see the shot's firing across the path. He needs someone to come out and meet him here, he's on very low, and Vice Lord has cut him off. Very nicely done by Vice Lord there, the Sayers coming in, did manage to get the return. Did manage Still, to grab very some. good disruption, though. Mm. Very nicely played. Cabal is walking that one home. Not for long, apparently. Managed to get down the Retrieve field there and return. Four two now to flatlines. Quite, quite a, a uh, dominant second half now. They managed to pull these two cats very quickly. Although they did get the first two very quick as well, so we could still see some uh, some fight left in over nine thousand. Yeah, over nine thousand need to pull something out of the bag pretty soon. They've got their disruption going in now with Cabal and Sayo. Marcus now coming in uh, quite a way off yet, but it looks like he's coming in for a left to right on the diamond sort of like. There won't be any disruption by the time he gets there. Have to rely on his, uh, his speed here by looks of it, which isn't always Saying the best. Saying that, might be in position. And Sayer, I take it back. Mark, Mark's coming in at 270 now. Sayer coming for disrupt. Nicely cleared off the flag and he's clean but hits the outside of that ship. <laughs> I, know I, think that, I think that was a strategic hit. It was more of a, um, a bounce. A deflection he was uh, trying to yeah. yeah. He was taking that when Mobius very good there, and him and Vi Cabal and Vaisal are fighting over a return. Cabal and, and Vaisal are there fighting over that flat. Oh, oh Cabal takes nice. him out. Very nicely done by Cabal there. Gene Steel on now as well, maybe you can mop these two up as well with the, uh, the way it's going at the minute. Nave and Marcus there on their own, now Shannon and Sayo coming in. So Shannon managed to get the pick up. Bio this is all very, over. very nice. Stella going for an e grab. Managed to get right out the back, thanks to all the D clustering that flag. Pops down right into the middle of the wall. Conk nice down, conk there. Cap. They can get that flag returned. Both flags in the field. Vice Lord. Oh, Vice Lord coming for that flag. They need to stop in there. Sayo managed to get him down. Gene Steeler coming in for an e-grab. They managed to get defense back on the flag now. Rainy coming in for grab. That was smooth. Oh, Rainy getting out. Oh, dies on the side of the ship there. Shows All of the defense leave the flag stand. They... Sven is left by himself. Very good work there by yeah, my very, very nicely done. Very hectic at times like that when people decide to cluster either O or D. It's kind of yeah, the point um, is coordination to breaks down in times like that. It's a, it's some it works well. Some teams, some teams just cluster very well and they go for the, the much more brute force approach than the. Uh, this looks like it could be game. Oh no, Sayo takes him out and retrieves. Nicely done. Got Rainy coming in here from a back, from a uh, left to right. Sorry, no disruption on the flag again. But it doesn't look like they've seen him. Fires up the flag stand and gets taken out again by those thumpers. Flag bounces down onto the uh, the river below the ship there. No offense here up against the flatliners uh, defense. All's quiet on the home front. Marcus is coming in though, so the disruption might be trying to get into place. Cabal looks like he is, and Svenner actually. Svenner Fire disrupting or grabbing, grabbing. Svenner grabbed that. I'm not sure if that was a good move or not. Taking on very quickly. I would Cabal. I would have switched onto defense, off to uh, offense there and try and disrupt it for Marcus, but might have been a breakdown of communication with some there. Sayo here is coming to meet Cabal. I don't know if this will be a pass off. It will indeed, although some of the defense is there, managed to get mopped up. Vice Lord coming in from above though. Sayo's looking low. Ooh. Oh, that thrust back is brilliant at getting those retrieves. Lovely return by Vice Lord there. And again, we're back to um, the Blood Eagle flag being back on the stand. The Diamond Sword flag is in the field. Once again, very close game. And there's the return there. Got four minutes remaining here. Rain coming well. in nice and fast, approximately 200. Mm. Makes it Looking through. good. Very coming nice through grab rain. Coming through 190 now with 429 health. Low on energy, but I don't think he's going to need it. He's got Marcus many and Sayu and Cabal going for e-grabs here. Oshan and Nave, all of them pushing up now. They really don't want them to get that camp. It's game over if they do. Come this on, is going to be really close. Oh, game. Marcus grabbed it, but it was a second too late. Very well played by both teams again. That means that's three maps in favour of Flatliners now. I'm Very not sure entertaining if we're match. Fifth. I'm assuming we'll play a fifth.
Yep, Kata, still to come, I think. Oh, the best, saving the best one to last. It'll be interesting to see what their tactics are like on a much larger map. That just demonstrates the power of chain grabbing, though, because most of the caps they came in twos, where they cap one, then quickly re grab and get the second one. That's what you need on smaller maps like this, because the pressure of uh, constant capping on a map that only takes 10 seconds to get across is very hard for your defense to adjust to. That's true. So yeah. Cat is the next one, a, uh, a favorite of most of the teams. Because it's a very open, big map, reminds people a lot of T2, because it is a T2 map. Alright. So for over 9,000 we have O'Shannon, Yankee, Shrek, Seos, Venna, Cabal, Nave and Marcus. And for Flatliners we have Gene Steeler, Mobius, Adria, Visord, Ao, Bio, Seller and Nash, the same teams again. Looks like uh, the Blood League team over 9,000 are running 4D again. And it looks like the Dimesaw team, which is Flatliners, might be going for a slightly lighter D here with... Uh... Oh, they've got four as well, sorry, I thought uh, Vysler was pushing out over there. Ale here is actually setting up an incredibly quick route. Uh, Bio and Seller might be disrupting. Sven and Marcus both coming from the back as well. I'm not sure if they're benefiting from having these two people capping at the same time. It might be easier to have one of them disrupt and the other one makes a run. Uh, Ale missed that one up a bit. Marcus coming now very fast back. Sven is a little bit paced behind Seo and Cabal coming for the disruption. Quick grab coming in by Sven here. Disrupted no, by Marcus, Mark, Sayo and Cabal, this could be no, good. Mark, Marcus bounced off the wall there, I think he's going for a grab as well. Svenna comes through, very nice grab. Very Coming nice grab there. 400 health, well, 29 health, now getting sniped by Mobius again. 240 punts the flag there, trying to get it back to the base. One of the Dean needs to push out to grab this. It was a good call there to punt that, I think. Well, the defense is very far behind. Gene Steer is not very far. Close. Sellers coming in, though. Oh, I managed to get the return there. Defense didn't push out fast enough to grab that. The bloody flag is in the field now, resting against that tower. Although it is returned very quickly there. I would have left it there personally, but... Ale grabs that. That was a nice grab by Ale there. Full health. Ale to grab. Utilised very quickly that the defence wasn't on the stand and came in for that one. He's coming up behind Marcus. I don't think Marcus has seen him. Doesn't know he's... Uh, he could easily cut in front of him here. I think Marcus will stick to his route and go for the e-grab instead. I'm not sure he's going to get there first. It's going to be close. Ale's coming right over that hill. It's so going to be very Marcus. close. Oh, oh. no, Ailman's missed yeah, the hey, Marcus grabs the that. Marcus coming out, very nice speed there, 170. At 630 health, passing Spender there on the way. And yeah, we seem to have our first standoff by the looks of it. Never mind, Ail goes down there. Oh, okay. And a return. And cap. Adro right. going in for a re-grab here. It's 1-0 to over 9,000. Very impressive uh, games for their very first match, I think. Yeah, definitely. Like I was saying before, they haven't got a tribe's background. Most of them are from uh, Red Orchestra 2, which is a uh, hyper sort of realistic World War 2 shooter. One, <laughs> hell of, one, one, hell of a, one hell of a change. Alright, we've, we've got, got Ao coming in for a back to front here. Um, no disruption. Not sure how this is going to work out for him. Where am I looking? Oh, there's Ale. Coming in there, managed to clear off flags down with a very they didn't fast see him. grab there. Bounces off the rocks, I'm not sure if that was intended but managed to get him some nice height there. He's out, coming he's out clean. He's home by the looks, but he's coming out 240 there. Marcus quickly coming in for an e-grab, can he make it in time? Looks like he might be able to make it, as long as he doesn't miss, or get body blocked on the flag. Oh. Fantastic work there, an ale And cap. that's cap, that's one all. One all at 21 minutes remaining on the flag, on the uh, clock even. Svenna coming in in front of Bobby gets chained down. Cabal is uh, waiting by those boulders for some disruption. He's been seen by that sniper though, he's down to half health, he's falling down, don't want to get back to the line of sight there. Sayo is here for disruption him. as well. Got Marcus going around back, it's going to take a long time to get there though, I think the disruption might have tried to get there a bit early. I think, yeah, looks like the defense might be pushing out to try and duel them off now, you can't just let people sit around your base. So there's Vysel trying to duel off Sayo, Marcus coming in now. I'd say he's about another 10 seconds off yet from actually starting his uh, main run here. Yeah, Cabal's going into the disrupt by the looks of it, but I don't think it's going to be to any use. So it might be a wasted life here. Marcus coming on the back. About 5 seconds off a cap now, maybe. Saying that, this disruption by Cabal is quite good. 
Here he comes in, Gene. All of them are One low. One to wipe them all off. Bison's oh, committed suicide nice there, markers. unfortunately. He's out clean there. He gets sniped on the way out, though. Looks like he's out of line of sight of the sniper now, though. Retrieve Almost. that flag, over 9,000. Almost the cap, come on, get that retrieve back. Oh, Shannon! There we go. Two ones over 9,000, very nice work. Very, very nice. quick grab there. Ale coming in all on his lonesome again, no disruption, but he managed to get out with full health and 260 speed. Not sure how he managed that, but if it works, hey. If it works, it works. Marcus here chasing after him, but with a spin fuse, that's not... Oh, and there goes, there goes the, uh, like, assault Fair rifle. and Sven are on him as well. Cabal's gonna cut him off. He looks home though, unless they need an e-grab here by Cabal. Not Game gonna happen. Shredded apart on the stand. Now, Ale coming for a very quick out. That's home. Here. Two two. Very quick grabs and caps here. But not very often you'll see four caps within the five minute mark on a uh, game. That's very true. Very well put over both teams here. Ale coming around again straight off that first route. A draw with the grab there though. I personally would have left that for uh, for Ale, but. Ale yeah, that is, in, that is a shame. Ale time just cut across. It looks like they might try and just... I would let that be returned. I wouldn't try and fire it, but they're going to push that right into that gen tunnel. If you grab, obviously it resets the uh, t res respawn timer on the flank, so sometimes it's better just to leave it and let it respawn. Uh, Seller had a one-on-one -on -one duel with a base turret and lost. Never a good fight, Strand pick. Uh, Ale is set up at the back now for a re-grab when that flag goes back on the stand. I think he's like just he's... taking down those turrets for now. A drone looks like he's set up a disruption. He's coming in now on that hill. There's the return. Ale coming in now. So I think this might be disruption for Andro because he's been nailed. He's coming very slow. Andro right grabs through. that. All the defense focused on the disruption there. Wasn't even that fast to grab. He still managed to get out with 400 health. He's going to get cut off though. People are going to have to meet him. Nave is here with him. Not looking good though, Adro's on half health now, getting chased by that thumper. Shrelly has the health for a night one jump. Seller there needs to save the day, come on Seller. Managed to get the no, that's quite good. He's got the health advantage here with both these guys, he might be able to do these people off. Very nicely done. Needs someone to come take this off him though, he's still only hovering around the 300 Looks health Looks like Bio mark. is coming to meet him. Should be a pass off here. It looks like they've chosen not to, just trying to kind of, just trying to DM back unless they're... <laughs> like they're having a suicide. chat in the field. Not sure why he's suicide though, I personally would have stuck with him just for that extra gun, but... Yeah, same. So now there are two people on Nave and Shrek. Shrek goes down, just Nave left and I was trying to fight off Bio. Oh, Shannon coming in from the tree. Oh, oh, Shannon gets taken out very quickly as well. Kong's there by Nave, I think. It was indeed Seller managed to get the re-grab on it though. Nave is playing technician actually, so wasn't he? Can't get in at all. Might have been trying to do a pass. Possibly. Technician Mobius chasing. Mobius is taking down all, all the chasers. Again, they need to neutralize Mobius before they come in for a grab here. Just have one disruption, come around the back and just uh, nail him back the other sword. Usually gets rid of the slopes pretty quick. So we have a standoff. Both teams clustering at their bases. Now, usually the place to hold is right behind the base here on the hill. Because it gives you a nice large kind of uh, area to view and you can see enemies coming off quite a way off. Looks like both teams know that. They yeah, both elected to go for that route. That um, location either. So we are our first st proper stand off the match here. Not much coming for either teams here. People setting up. Ale is setting up for an offensive and so is Marcus here. And Cabal actually. Looks like the bloody team might be ready to go for an attack early. Marcus going straight in. Looks like he's going for the conk there, but I don't think that was a wise decision. Goes in, gets straight Sayo and Cabal and Sven are going in for the retrieve here for over 9,000. But when Nash sees him coming, he's just going to fly right in the air. Got to avoid those nitrons. It's definitely the best tactic to do. Mobius again, even in this uh, smaller battle area, making making his presence known there, managed to help the D quite a lot. And on the other side of the base, um, over 9,000 have successfully fought off all of the attack. That's a pass off there. People going back to position with Marcus and Sayo are both there now. Cabal pushing through mid. And Sven are looking like they're coming in as well. So they switched to uh, 
I don't want to switch to Pathfinder just to get those Nitrons out. They're all getting ready to come in now. Here they come, Marcus and Sarah are both coming in. Cabal's up high, so they're coming from the mountain. They're not Fly. all going in though, I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, here we go, Spenna, Sarah, and Marcus and Cabal all on the offense. They all seem to be relying a lot on those uh, Nitrons instead of just trying to haul the flag carrier down with the chain guns. Cabal there actually trying to fight him off over the spin but it battled off very quickly. I, I don't know what happened then, they, they seem to stay back and go in one the, at a time, they should have just rushed in at once. The Dimesaw flag is returned there by the, uh, by the flatliners there and it's a 3-2, two, two, sorry. In, oh, I didn't, uh, I didn't suppose here. you caught that was like a Nitron or...? Uh, I did not see it though. No. I was uh, focusing on the, on the flatliners. So there we go, we've got a reset there. It's 3 2 with uh, 50 minutes left on the clock. Spenna Again, grabs that flag, but he's low. Marcus looks like he's going to meet him. Sniped there by Mobius again. Marcus um, should be able to grab this out of the field. Nash just comes off, so we can't think he can afford to miss here. Managed to get that grab. And he looks like he's alright for now. Got Cabal coming in to give him some help against Nash here. Vice Lord's looking near, pretty clean. Vice Lord's near, but he's very low. I don't think he'll be much help on the recovery effort here. Unless he can land a conk. Doesn't look like it. This looks like it's home. AO coming in for a um, E grab. Misses. Ooh, bounces off the flag stand. That's home, but it looks like that's going to be 3 3. Unless he we slides hope. right over the base. There we go. 3 0. Nice play again by Blood Eagle there. Cabal coming in for disruption on the flatliner's base here. Looks like that was supposed to be an e-grab, but it was only a radar, so he's not going to be able to get far with that one. For anyone who hasn't played since the last patch, the scramble and the radar are now the same class. They are just both the radar with the uh, options to go for the scrambler kit. We same goes for the ranger and the soldier now. We won't see them capping there as uh, whiteouts are banned in this current match. Yeah, people tend to... Uh, not like them very much. So we've got Seo setting up for a path here by looks for and Marcus. Both on the outside of the outside the map here. A was also setting up a very quick back to front. Seller Bio and Adria are disrupting. Coming very fast on 240 AL here. Coming from the I back think this could be good. No disruption on the flag. Oh Eek. flies right over is taken out by Nave. Very oh, nice unfortunate. thumper. I'm not sure what Cabal's talk about there. I'm <laughs> curious though. No strikes. I'm assuming one of the teams might have got a strike there without really thinking about it. Yeah, Cabal um, wanted to bring in an infantry station and accidentally striked. Ah. Quite a nasty uh, thing to do to yourself, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done it many a times. It's an embarrassing fact of uh, playing tribes. There's that horrible moment when you call it in and you forget, you've forgotten which one you called in. Exactly, we've got Ale coming for a cap now, Seller on uh, Disruption. Ale coming through clean again, 705 health coming at 260. Spinner and Marcus going in for the grab as well, I'm not sure if the I don't think they'll make it in time actually. Spinner might, Marcus probably... Oh no, I take it back. I'll be right back, someone's at my door. Entertain people. Spinner there, clearing off all the mines with his face. I guess that's one way to do it. Ao seems to be having issues here, he's got Nave and Cabal chasing him down. Shrek as well, Shrek might get the return here. Yep, that's that's been safe. And Vysold says pushing that flag back into the generator room. Okay, so I'm back, sorry about that. <coughs> Welcome back. We should have returned there, that's all. Okay, Vysold there pushing that flag down into the, stat into the uh, generator room. Very hard to get high speed grabs there because obviously it just drives you straight into the jam room if you go into it at high speed. It does I was going to say, that turn. flag's been in the field for a while now. Doesn't look like anyone's setting up any routes as far as I can see. Got Bio here to disrupt and Andro there. Andro managed to get taken out. Spender's coming in hot. So it looks like he's setting up a back to front. And Marcus also setting something up. 
bar there on the hill to disrupt for when Marcus does come in. No one else here though in position. Looks like Cabal has got Mobius' attention. This could be good. So they're coming in for disruption here. Cabal's in position to do so as well. Marcus coming in from the back now. Not the back, sorry. The uh, front coming for a side side. Coming at 270 now. Very quick on the Nash. Marcus. Oh. Taking out the only dinosaur flag is left on the field. Hey, he'll grab the flag there. That was quite a good grab. Traveling here at 180, 190. Lots of health. One Nitron remaining. I did notice that the flag was being bombarded. I'm not sure if that was completely intentional. Hmm, possibly. Hey, all there with the ground mesh. Make it all the way home, but looks a bit going to wait for the return. Retrieve and cap. And it's 4 3 in favor of Flatliners. Nave suicided then. I don't know why. He had quite a nice run on that. Unless it was simply a case of him hitting the ground too hard. Earlier, looks like he's coming in for a front to back grab. No disruption at all, though. He might, he might pull this off. No, he's going for it anyway. Nope, nope. I managed to get there. Cabal coming forward. Uh, looks like one gen attack. Maybe trying to get their gens down. Sven has lined up for a back to front here. Cabal, I think he's just hiding there for some disruption. So is Mark. Oh, Marcus gets taken down by Mobius. And Sven gets taken out by Gene Stealer. I'm not even sure if Gene Stealer saw him then. That's super heavy for you. Yeah, very effective. Say you're coming up for disruption, but it doesn't like anyone that's going to be able to utilize on that with the camp. Mark yeah, AO coming here in is coming in for off. a grab. Bio, Edra, and Sella are disrupting. That's a grab. And Ale is out pretty clean here. He's not Cabal wearing needs health. to turn around. It's right behind you. Come on, Cabal. Time to shine. There, there it we is. Go. Very nicely done. Great chaining there and a nice return. And we're back to both flags on the stand with a 4-3 lead to Diamond Sword, who are flying. Marcus runners. is coming in for a really nice back to front here. Cabal's disrupting. I'm not sure it's going to be enough. That I take it back. That is more than enough. Mobius is out. Sorry, Marcus is out. Marcus coming out very clean. He's going very fast. Not very much health, so he could get sniped here by Mobius. Marcus is home. That's 4-4. Four, four. Very close game. Eight minutes remaining, guys. Very nicely done. Uh, the current maps are three in favour of Flatliners and one in favour of over 9,000. Over 9,000 have fought very hard in all of the maps though. It's not been an easy win by any means. Not much going on at either base now. We've got teams setting up. We've got Se Seho <coughs> setting up for a disruption. Savannah coming for a cap. Oh no, he's already going for disruption as well. Yeah, it looks like Ayo is just waiting for his um, grab. Not much happening. No, it's uh, the, the quiet before the storm. Ale is coming in now, though. Stella and, uh, and Robo are coming for disruption. They're all disruptive, but it's going to be a very nice grab if you can get there quick enough. Coming through. Oh, hits the, uh, the wall there by the looks of it. I'm actually going to take it down. Marcus here is coming in for a back to front. We've got Cabal going for disruption. Looks like he's going in a bit early though. Yeah, this is undefend sorry, undisrupted flag stand here. Got Cabal setting up some disruption here. <laughs> Waiting for anyone here to come over. Sven is coming over to get a cap in from the left right by the looks of it. Cabal's gonna be waiting there for this attack. He's coming in very fast though. Got like 280 here coming down the hill. Yeah, Cabal here playing Raider, very good for disruption. Presuming uh, <laughs> I can't talk. Presumably he's using grenade launcher to spam that flag stand. Zvanik going for a very long route here, decides to come round right around to the back, setting up a side to side route. Got Sella and Bio both moving into disruption and drove behind Ale coming for a carab now from front to back. In and out completely clean there. Full health still, 205 speed. Got that little bit more to give away to get some extra speed on the spin user jump. Ale made it out actually. Yeah, that's I what didn't notice that, sorry. Coming Marcus looks like he might go for the e-grab here. If you mess this up, this is game. Doesn't manage to get it, looks like that might be game. That's five game. 
There we go. Very, very good game though. Very good game, yeah. Five minutes left on the clock though. Five, four. And that's it by looks good. There we go. Yeah, I don't, good I games don't think we're going to do post-game interviews because uh, a number of guys are on Community Mumble. So we'll have to do that for next time. Oh, if you look at those top accolades, Mobius got uh, Relentless and Unstoppable. It just shows to, goes to show they weren't disrupting him. Exactly. Okay, well I think we'll wrap that up there then. That's what I'm doing interviews. Thank I you very think much. That's it. Thank you very much for watching guys. We have been just a logic and zero methanol with double cross gaming of uh, www.youtube.com slash double cross gaming. Yep. And yeah, and shout out to the community mumble and the spinfuser.org website set up by the works Nintendo guys. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the games, are very action packed. And we'll see you next time. Bye. So, mix. Alright, uh, I'm gonna head off, people have randomly turned up at our plant. Yeah, I'll head off as well then. Right, well, cheers again, Vixus. Yep, yeah, thanks for streaming that for us, Vixus. Seems to have gone quite alright. Um, yep. Multiple people telling me that it's been a nice stream. So, good, good. Oh, I had brilliant. to get used to switching between the, uh, the full screen and the overlay. Yeah. Um, the YouTube account is linked to the Twitter. The, uh,